Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and today I'm going to dive into what the audio device controls setting does. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you're ever working on a song and you think, ah, there's this setting that I want to change, and you can't remember where it is, the first place I always look is at the wrenches. Go to the wrenches. Uh, there's one in the mixer here. That has a bunch of settings, and there's one in the arranger here. These are a different collection of settings. This one's mainly for the arranger window. This one is mainly for the console, okay? The one I want to focus on today is this one down here that says audio device controls. This one has been around for a while, and maybe you've turned it on and you don't really see anything change. This one's only for people who use Presonus interfaces or mixers specifically ones that have recallable preamps and settings like that. I'll show you what I mean. Right now, currently, I'm using a Studio Live 24 Series 3 mixer, as you can see here. This one, right here. And it has a bunch of channels, and right now we're looking at channels like 9 through 14 here. And if I want to adjust the preamp of channel 9, I select channel 9, I come up here and I turn the preamp setting up. Or I can come over here to the touch screen, I can select the preamp, turn this knob here, sorry, it's dusty, and I can adjust the preamp there. But we're personas and we made both, right? We made Studio One, we made the mixer, why not make them integrate more? And that's exactly what this setting does. So I come in here and I select the wrench and I come down and choose audio device controls and you'll see at the top of each channel, I've got a bunch of new settings here. This knob with 0 dB, 48V, polarity, and then this fat channel showed up. That wasn't there before. Let me turn it off right here. See, that whole section above the word inserts has appeared in our console. So here's what this is. These are literally the same settings as my mixer. So now I can control the preamp gain of channel 9 on my mixer and vice versa. I can still control it from the mixer, but I can also control it from here. So right now I'm going to turn the preamp knob on my mixer and check it out. It's turning here in Studio One and vice versa. As I adjust these preamp levels, they're adjusting on the mixer itself. This just gives us an extra level of control. Some of our mixers are rack mount mixers, meaning there is no surface with knobs and buttons to press. It's all done via software. So for something like that, if you've got our 32 rack in your studio, you're using it for using Studio One. Maybe you don't, if you wanted to control the preamp, you'd have to have the iPad as well and adjust things like you normally would using the rack mount mixer. Well, now you can set the iPad aside, let it charge because those batteries always run down and come in here and adjust those settings directly within Studio One. So I can turn phantom power on and off. I can turn flip the polarity of each channel as needed, but I can also adjust the fat channel settings on the mixer itself. Now, the way we know we're doing this is I've got this pulled up. And at the top it says Studio Live 24 Channel 9 Onboard DSP. So that's our clue. You don't see this show up unless you're doing this on the mixer itself. So now I can literally come in and adjust, change the compressor here, I can turn it on. I can do basically all the things we've done on Fat Channel, except instead of it being a plug-in in Studio One, it's actually on the console itself. I can even use this neat little button here to apply that DSP to the input signal. Meaning, if I leave this off, I can just hear the compression happening on my vocal, for example, while I'm singing, but that compression isn't being recorded. If I flip this on, let's say I dial in a tone that sounds amazing and I want to print that to the track, I just hit the switch and now we're doing that. And what's cool is we can go back and forth. If I'm just if I've got the, my hand on the mouse right here and I'm in the middle of doing some other stuff inside of Studio One anyway, then I can just easily come in, turn these things on, make some adjustments right here. But if I'm on the channel itself, I can still do it with the actual settings on the console. As you can see here, I'm turning that uh, low mid knob by adjusting it on the console itself. So it's a two-way communication. You're not locked into doing it one way or the other, but you have that control. Now this setting works with our Studio Live Series 3 and beyond mixers, and it also works with our Quantum Thunderbolt interface, which if you haven't seen it before, here's what it looks like. You've got eight recallable preamps. Two of them are accessible on the front, and the rest are on the back. But instead of putting individual knobs for those preamps, we've made them controllable via digital control, which means you can control it here by cycling through the preamps and setting the levels with that knob, or as I've shown you, you can adjust the preamp levels inside of Studio One. 
In addition, you see this right here. Um, this quantum has the ability to have a talkback, to dim the monitors or mute them, as well as um, listen in mono. All of that can also be controlled from Studio One. So I don't have that particular interface connected, but if I did, then these buttons over here on the right-hand side, this whole section shows up when I turn on audio device controls. This allows me to turn on the talkback, which actually this works for the Studio Live Mixer as well. The talk button is turning on and off as I click this um, and lets me adjust what the talkback is going to. But if I had the quantum connected, I could also turn on the solo, the mute, the mono. Those things can be controlled here as well. Just another reason, if you're in the market for an audio interface and you're looking at different brands, if you use Studio One, it makes a lot of sense to stick with a Personas interface because of all this tight integration that you only get when using Personas products with Studio One. All right, that's it for this video. Hope this was fun and helpful for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.